Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful fall color in Island Lake. Um, it's one of the conservation parks here in Orangeville. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share James 5 verse 12. It says, But most of all, my brothers and sisters, never take an oath by heaven or earth or anything else. Just say a simple yes or no so that you will not sin and be condemned. Here's my poem. Ungodly soul ties. When you swear that you will never do something, watch out. The enemy will challenge you into sinning. Never take an oath by heaven or earth or anything else. It will open doors for you to experience vignettes of hell. Just say a simple yes or no so that you will not sin. Anything vague and unclear makes the devil win. Do not vow that you will do something. Just do it. Say only what's true and what you hear from the Spirit. Here's my essay. A soul tie is an emotional bond or connection that unites you with someone else. You can become bound to a person through your soul. If you have been anguished, obsessed, or extremely thinking or worrying about someone, you may have a soul tie. If you have grieved and never forgot and, and never gotten over a severed relationship, you may have been tied with this person's soul. Soul ties may be an offshoot of close friendships or blood relations through oaths and promises and through physical intimacy. Not all soul ties are bad. God wants us to have healthy relationships that build us up, provide wisdom, and give godly counsel. The Bible warns us of an ungodly soul tie. Prayer. Lord, help me discern any ungodly soul ties I have and release it to you. Reflection. How can you break ungodly soul ties? Um... I didn't know uh, what this meant until just uh, probably a three or four years ago and I didn't realize that um, this ungodly soul ties um, hinders my growth and my maturity as a Christian. The first um, time I heard about this is from a Christian counselor that I went to. I was going to go for a marriage counseling, but my husband didn't want to go with me. So I ended up um, attending the counseling myself. And um, she made me um, go through all the soul ties that I had, ungodly soul ties that I had. And mind you, it was uh, hard. Um, not heartbreaking it's it's so of I don't I can't uh, find the words to explain um, what that was it was like um, a, the experience of uh, making you walk through and remember all these possible vows and oaths that I made with someone or that I've been intimate with uh, physically and I've had a very, very colored life. And um, the enemy has bonded me into so many sins in my past. And um, going back to it was something that I had to be very careful about. And so when we did the ungodly soul tie, I was with my counselor. And there was somebody praying for me while we were going through the past because um, the enemy can enter when you are actually trying to go through this ungodly soul ties that, um, that can bring you back in bondage. So I had a prayer warrior uh, praying over me while 
uh, where we were going through remembering and asking the Holy Spirit to bring us back the memory so that we can cut it and sever it. So as we write down the names and the oaths that I did, uh, we were actually breaking it uh, verbally by applying scriptures to it and applying the blood of Jesus uh, in it. So that's how I started breaking my, uh, my ungodly soul ties. But the first step before that is to actually sit down with the Holy Spirit and try to ask the Holy Spirit to give you a recollection of what are the things or that you have said that you made an oath or what are who are the people that you have had physical intimacy with before you uh, are with your spouse or you got married or if you are single that um, you did uh, out of wedlock so um, the first thing uh, uh, so when you ask the Lord to show you he will show you because if you ask him the Lord never um, uh, say no to to what you request and if especially if it's something that will make you grow so that's first is to ask the Holy Spirit to bring you into the recollection of the soul tie and um, what what was the hardest thing to uh, realize is, is like years later I thought the ungodly soul ties were all limited to physical intimacy and then later on when I was uh, going through um, uh, research about uh, more of the ungodly soul ties, I realized that it could also be with a relative or um, a child a, a child of yours or your parent that you had a soul tie. For example, when you start um, saying to yourself, I will never be hurt by another man, that is a vow that you said to yourself because you want to protect yourself. So that soul tie can bring you to a place where you will be a man-hater or that you will be um, uh, having a negative relationship or you are probably going to be attract actually the opposite that you want. So those are just one, one way or, or, or you could have a soul tie with your child. Um, I did have a soul tie with my son which is not godly because for a point I was a single mom for so long and I focused my life so much on him on giving him what the other parent couldn't give and so I promised that my son will not be hurt and that I will be the best mom and all that stuff so those are all uh, good uh, in one way but um, that is not what God wants us to focus. In other words, even when we love our family, our spouse, our children, the Lord should always come first. So if they come first and that we become so worried and that we become all focused on this vow that we made, then it is an ungodly soul tie. So I hope that I have shed light on what ungodly soul tie is and that um, you will be able to ask the Lord to help you discern what they are because it took me many years before I realized what they are. And when I was able to break them, God broke them for me and I, I'm, I'm not in bondage of, of, of those anymore. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Please remember, do not make an oath or a vow. Just run to the Lord and ask the Lord what, um, um, what is the truth. And don't ever um, say, maybe, um, I don't know, um, or, or, or I don't know, or, or, or it's, it's an honest answer, but uh, when you say, I don't know, it's only because you, you want to avoid appearing dumb or, or, or foolish, then be careful. So thanks for watching again. God loves you so much and so do I. God bless you and please, please um, 
have a meeting with yourself and with God and try to um, evaluate uh, your life and what stops you and hinder you from mature, uh, spiritually maturing. Thanks for watching again.